The Nintendo 3DS Epic Kid Icarus Uprising could be making its way to the Nintendo Switch sometime soon. In a recent YouTube video on Masahiro Sakurai's video game creation series, he had this to say about the game that he created and produced himself. Now if you go back to April of this year, Bandai Namco had been rumored to be remastering a 3D action game for Nintendo Switch. Now, this isn't even really a rumor per se, because there was multiple job listings on Bandai Namco's Japanese website. And if you look at what they said on there, it is believed that they are remastering slash remaking a 3D action game by Nintendo. Now, Bandai Namco is looking at planners, and trying to get the project up and running, visual artists to help with HD remastering of 3D backgrounds. Now, according to the Google Translate, this was what they had to say. Quote, as a visual artist for a 3D action game project on a Nintendo contract, you'll be required to perform HD remastering of the 3D background. Now, if you start going through and connecting some dots, you have Masahiro Sakurai, who produced a 3D action game with Kid Icarus Uprising, you have him teasing, well, I wonder if anybody's going to support this. I would love to play it on a home console. And then you go back to this right here, Bandai Namco and also Masahiro Sakurai have a very good working relationship along with Nintendo because they're the ones who create Super Smash Brothers. So the fact that you have that relationship there, you have Sakurai talking about Kid Icarus Uprising quite a bit. His last couple videos and a number of videos on his channel, he's talked about that, but for the past two videos, as of the time that I'm recording this video, he's talked about Kid Icarus Uprising a number of times. And I know that that's one of his most proud and I would say happy moments is when he got to revitalize a franchise that he liked playing back in the day. So I think that Masahiro Sakurai, when he created that type of game, especially for the time that he created it, it was well ahead of its time. It has so many features, things, content. I mean, it's more packed than some of the 3D action games that come out now in today's day. So I think Masahiro Sakurai has a fond soft spot for Pit for the Kid Icarus Uprising game. And I think that he would love to see that game being brought over, and I feel that it's probably going to be happening. Now, also on the Jeff Grubb podcast, they talked about this. Shout out to my man, Jeff Grubb. And he's been stating that this is a done deal. This is happening. So it does seem like this 3DS epic, Kid Icarus Uprising, will be making its way to Nintendo Switch in 2023. Now, when will the timing be? When is it happening? How good will the remaster be? These are all things that we don't know yet, right? Because it's not confirmed. So don't take it as a 100% confirmation it just seems more likely at this point that we do get a remaster of Kid Icarus Uprising considering that the Nintendo Switch is pretty much on its last year or two so you should see some more remasters and remakes and things that they just kind of want to get out there at this point now that most of the major hitters for this system will be out now there's a few more obviously fire emblem engage also the legend of zelda tears of the kingdom but i don't think that nintendo is continuing a lot of new large scale rpg or large scale action game or mario game development on the current switch and if they are it's definitely going to be the current switch and the next gen switch so i think that this is one of those games that they're going to just throw out there at the end of the life or so we could see another remaster or two as well so i think that'd be pretty cool obviously it'd be dope to see kid Icarus uprising it's one of the best nintendo 3ds games it's one of the best action games on the platform by far and i feel that once again it was ahead of its time back then like the fact that you had stuff like the three on three online multiplayer which was fantastic the controls were a little bit awkward if you're using the stylus but then you get used to them i opted to use the face buttons for the camera to not play it with the styles because my hands are just too big for that but i feel that the game would translate very well to a home console and i think that sakurai was teasing it somewhat there what do you guys think about this when it comes to 
Kid Icarus Uprising potentially coming over to the Nintendo Switch? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. All right, now moving on to the next topic here, the Nintendo Switch has busted past a new milestone and it's pretty impressive to see what's going on here. Now, for this past week in the Famitsu sales, this is for November 14, 2022 through November 20th, 2022, we got the debut sales for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet retail boxed. Although it's a little bit, I guess, of old news at this point because Nintendo already announced that the game has sold over 10 million units in its first three days. But we have the exact retail estimates for Japan. And then, of course, we can kind of deduce that what is the digital numbers based off what Nintendo has said. And then also the Nintendo Switch selling 170,000 units. Now, the one thing that I want to point out here, which is very interesting, is the fact that there was quite a bit of talk when it comes to Nintendo Switch and what's going on in Japan a few weeks ago or so. Obviously, Nintendo Switch was dealing with stock shortages, but I feel that a lot of people did not know that. I had a number of people telling me like, oh, the Switch sales are dropping. There needs to be Switch Pro coming out because of look at these numbers in Japan. Japan and stuff so that obviously is put to rest at this point because for the past three weeks we've seen the nintendo switch sell 90k 97k and 170k nearly 300 thousand units so that's obviously really good and of course pokemon scarlet and violet is fueling a lot of the big sales here i think nintendo was definitely stockpiling and i also want to give you guys an update on the black friday sales or what nintendo's doing now we always make it a running joke here on player essence for the past i don't know four or five years with the mario kart 8 deluxe bundle and that and in terms of who doesn't have that already but to be honest, it's actually ingenious because once again, the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Bundle is the best selling system on Amazon. It's doing incredible. Now I get it. You're getting a free Mario Kart 8 Deluxe game, it seems, right? You get three months of Nintendo Switch Online and the box looks appealing. It's red. It's Mario because this bundle has just been one of the most popular things, one of the most popular bundles ever. And they only bring it for this time period when it comes down to so this is your opportunity this is your chance if you haven't played mario kart 8 deluxe you can get it here i'm so tired of mario kart 8 deluxe at this point but they can continue doing this bundle they've got dlc coming out people just love it and pokemon scarlet and violet is continuing to do incredibly well i'm also very impressed with the long-term sales of splatoon 3 that game is still in the top sales numbers as well so it's pretty cool to see that and also shout outs to persona and bayonetta those games are also still doing well on the sales chart so it's good to see a number of games when it comes to rpgs actions whatever the case is doing well over the holiday period and we should get some numbers of course later in the year we'll probably get some rough estimates then of course at nintendo's quarterly meetings we'll see exactly how well the nintendo switch did here in the u.s and worldwide for the three months ending in the year so what are your thoughts on this guys when it comes to the famitsu sales and everything that's going on there let me know in the comment section below all right and moving on to the next topic here guys ninja gaiden and dead or alive are seemingly heading towards a reboot from Koei Tecmo. And there are rumors that Platinum Games will be involved in some way, shape, or form. So according to a Team Ninja keynote at the G-Star Conference, they will be rebooting the franchises of Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive. Now, it's been a while since we've seen new entries in these franchises. Ninja Gaiden Z Yaiba, which a game that came out back on the PS3 360, it wasn't very good and effectively kind of killed what was going forward because that game did not sell well and then the last that are alive was just full of crazy microtransactions and everything and i think it still did well enough for the fans but fans have been looking for something new in these now we did have the ninja gaiden collection that came out recently and that did okay from what i understand so i think now is the time if you're going to bring these two franchises back it needs to be something fresh it needs to be something new it can't be the same type of gameplay that you had before when it comes to ninja gaiden and dead or alive needs to actually Actually be a real complete fighting game you can't do what they did before with all these different little microtransaction pieces that type of stuff you save for way later and that can't be introduced from the very beginning make a solid fighting game with a good core and foundation and then kind of go from there so i think that's what they should do for dead or alive ninja gaiden it's been rumored that platinum games will be helping out with development or will be the developer 
for the Ninja Gaiden game. So we'll have to wait and see. It's still a rumor. There's no confirmation. But I think that that would be a big boost to the Ninja Gaiden games because I feel that Ninja Gaiden, although it's a great action game, it's just a little bit dated. It was a little bit dated even back then when it was coming out when it comes to the newer action games. So I think that if you're going to go forward with it, you either take it into two different directions. You can take it into the direction of a Devil May Cry even more and more fluid and everything, or you can take it into the direction of some type of hybrid of a action and RPG. So almost like a God of War, not quite like that, but what they do with some of the armor pieces and things like that. So there's different types of ways that they can get this done. I personally feel they could take it more in the direction of a God of War and Bayonetta hybrid. Something like that would be very good for Ninja Gaiden. You have the intense visceral combat, but then you also have the fluidity of air combos and different things, but also add in some RPG pieces, armor, things like that, that you can level up, upgrade, enhance, like God of War, the new God of War has, not old God of War, the new God of War. So I think that would probably be the best bet for Ninja Gaiden going forward, but we're gonna have to wait and see how it all works out. I think it's going to be interesting just to see these two classic franchises come back bigger and badder than ever so what are your thoughts on this guys when it comes to ninja gaiden and also dead or alive potentially getting some big reboots here let me know in the comment section below all right and moving on to the final topic here guys we have some new sales updates for near automata shipments digital sales as well so total worldwide shipments and digital sales for near automata and near replicant have exceeded 7 million units and 1.5 million units respectively according to Square Enix. Now, Near Automata was last reported in June 2021 to have reached 6 million units while Near Replicant version 1.22, you know the rest of the numbers there, have reached 1 million units. Now, it's interesting to see this because what launched recently? Well, it was the Nintendo Switch version of Near Automata and we know that yeah, last time that they reported on it was June 2021 with 6 million units. So, I definitely think that the Nintendo Switch version of the game added a number of hundreds of thousands of units to that because the game wasn't really selling too hot as of last year and everything and then the switch version comes out and now they report the updated sales numbers of 7 million now we can't really conclude how much the nintendo switch version sold from this because we don't exactly know where near automata was at when the switch version was launched in october but i can say based off of what we've seen from amazon sales charts and also the eShop, the game definitely did not flop on the switch for being a five plus year old port or whatever the case is it did well enough for them to say this and also the anime is coming out early next year right so they want to keep on top of things they want to make sure that they keep near in the news i think that the nintendo switch port of the game was just a bridge to that because that anime is coming nintendo switch is the most popular system in japan at this point it's one of the most popular systems right now just period at the end of the day so i think that they had a plan with this and their plan is working because now they've got more people talking about Nier Automata with the sales, with the Switch version, with the anime coming up. There's a lot of things that are going on with this franchise, and this is definitely good to see. I mean, the fact that the Nier Automata and Nier Replicant combined are nearing 10 million units if they release a switch version of near replicant definitely can boost those numbers as well so this is definitely good for an action rpg like this because i don't think anybody had on their bingo card beforehand that near would be a franchise that can hit 10 million units plus in two entries or something like that or the fact that near automata a platinum games developed title could be this big i mean this is by far the most successful platinum games title ever by a pretty good margin so it's good to see that near automata is doing very well at this point and the near franchise is doing well too and we should see more as the franchise matures and develops and gets its anime and maybe there's a game in the works at some point here maybe platinum games is working on something deep hidden and buried behind the doors of platinum games we got some new near automata or new something when it comes to it so that would be hype for next year or the year after but we'll see what's going on there but what are your thoughts on this guys when it comes to all the different news that we discussed i'd love to hear what you have to say in the comment section below all right guys that wraps it up for this video here thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it please make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're someone new click that notification bell and we will see you for the next video peace